Hey everybody, it's Manny and Diana, and today we are here to talk about a bunch of things I know nothing about because Manny said so. No, so I just don't know why I'm here. <laughs> Because <laughs> you're forcing me to be. <laughs> I'm not forcing you. Don't tell him that. <laughs> All right, everybody. So today we're going to talk about the gear that I use for my photography and my videography. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to say that this video is sponsored by Audible. So let's talk about some of the lenses that I, my essential lenses. I only have four four frame lenses. I don't have that many lenses because, you know, I, I, I like to, I, I like to, um, I'm a cheap bastard. That's what it is. We're That's saving for a house. Yeah, we're saving for a house. That sounds better. <laughs> lens in my bag is the 85 1.4 G Master lens. I also known as my bread and butter lens. Um, I love this 85 millimeter because, well, I mean, for, first off is the focal length. I love the 85 millimeter focal length because the subject is not too far. You can communicate. I love that about this focal length. Also, the 1.4 super buttery backgrounds. I love the backgrounds and it's a really sharp lens. Uh, overall, I love this lens for my portraiture, my number one lens. I, I know you know about this lens, right? I know nothing about this lens. Babe, all these years, like, we've been together and all these videos we've done. You like that? Mm -hmm. What kind of lens? 1.4 85GM lens. Okay. Nothing? Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. Let's get that out of your hands. Next prime lens is 35 1.4 by Zeiss. Oh, that's it's good for environment. Yeah, because this is like our 20th take. <laughs> lens lover, and this is a great lens for environmental portraits. Know what I mean? <laughs> no, I don't. The reason why I like the 35 1.4 is because I just, I like to have the widest aperture possible available to me. And the, the F 1.4 uh, shooting an environmental portrait just allows your portrait, your person or your model, whatever, to pop out of the scene when you're shooting at F 1.4 because you get a nice, back, nice, a lot of nice uh, subject separation, really nice background blur, mm -hmm. right? right? The only thing I don't like about this lens is that it's a little bit on the bigger side for 35 1.4, I believe, but I mean, I still need it in my bag. I still love this lens right here. So definitely a must for my camera bag. Next up is one of my first lenses for Sony. The OG. The OG. The, thir uh, the 55 1.8 Zeiss. Now, many of you might be wondering why I don't own the 50 1.4 by Zeiss. Uh, that's because that is just an unnecessarily big lens. I prefer small and light whenever possible. I have an F1.8 in this lens tack sharp if you don't know how sharp this lens is it is super sharp babe like i can see all your pores with this lens everything blackheads everything that's how serious this sharp it is can you see into how my brain I? can it yeah, tell dude. you that i want you to pick up your clothes from the floor <laughs> yes can you see it no i can't can you no see it? i can't see okay, nothing okay. right okay it's not that great then <laughs> so this lens i love this lens for its portability uh whenever i want to travel light and this is the lens I go for right here. I try to sell it because at one point I wasn't using it as much, but it's one of those lenses that it doesn't hurt to have in your bag. It's so small and light. Whenever you want to travel light, this is the go-to right here, for sure. Last but not least, the fourth lens in my full frame arsenal is the 24-70 2.8 lens. I've been using this lens in my other videos, my last like two, three videos I've been using this lens, but it usually is my most neglected lens because this is my paid gig wedding lens. Um, but yeah, really good 2470 lens. It's comparable to any other 2470 out there. All right, so now let's get into some of my video uh, lenses and gear. So right now I'm shooting with the Sony a6500, which is my main video camera. That's the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4. This is my favorite lens okay. for, for my APS-C camera, the Sony a6500, because it has a wide angle and has an f1.4. Great. So let me show you my other lenses. I actually made a video on this not too long ago. The 30 millimeter Sigma 1.4, great for photo and for video. It's only 300 and something dollars. A must have for your camera bag if you're shooting APS-C Sony. Great for the gimbal as well, definitely. Bam, grab that one. So the 10 to 18 F4. Sony lens, 
a little bit pricey but it's worth it if you want to vlog with Sony because it has a 10 to 18 it's almost equivalent to like a 16 to 35 for your APS-C camera super light small that's what's important I don't like vlogging with big setups like other vloggers I like even though I'm not a vlogger because I suck at it remember I tried vlogging anybody looks at me I like put my camera down awkwardly <laughs> <laughs> yeah but if you want to be discreet as possible <laughs> you want to take this 10 to 18 lens f4 to great vlogging lens great wide angle lens for your Sony a6500 Right? It's so true. It's true. <laughs> hey guys, over there looking. Oh my god, they're looking. I put the camera down awkwardly. So I'm here. No, they're looking. Oh yeah, no. I gotta find a, like, a spot where no one's looking. Never at mind, me. we're not vlogging. I hate it. it. I hate it. <laughs> and last but not least, um, I this is the only macro lens I have. It's a, it's in silver. It's the 30 millimeter 3.5 macro lens. Um, I don't do a lot of macro, but when I when I was shooting weddings, this is the macro lens that I use and actually did a pretty good job. I shot it on my 6500 and look up reviews on it on Google. Check out the links down below. I have everything down there you can check it out for yourself um this is a really good little lens and it's pretty cheap too so yeah so like manny mentioned before this video is sponsored by audible if you go to audible.com slash manny ortiz or you text manny ortiz to 500-500 you can get a free 30-day trial and a free audiobook you know i get a lot of emails about sponsorships yeah but I don't, I turn a lot of them down because they don't align with my brand. Mm -hmm. Audible, I knew that would be really beneficial to me because I'm always in constant need of inspiration. As a, you know, as an entrepreneur, remember that the subtle art of not giving enough? Where we were listening- On the way to Wisconsin? Yeah, we were yeah. listening to that on the way to Wisconsin. We, and it's super, super just helpful as an entrepreneur because it, it just, you embrace, you embrace the unknown and you're not scared of failure. You know, you understand that it's all part of the process. That's one thing I really love about this. And it's going to be great for this summer because this summer I'm going to be on the grind. I'm going to be photo shooting. I'm going to be creating content for you guys. We could actually have had Audible since before they contacted you. And I actually listened to it as well. Yeah. When I work out. Yeah. So, so for this summer, I'm definitely going to be uh, listening to more Audible and uh, listening to more of these inspirational stories. I, I definitely need that in my life. So again, if you guys are interested, uh, go ahead and check out uh, audible.com slash Manny Ortiz or text Manny Ortiz to 500-500 and uh, you can go ahead and get your 30-day free trial and your free audiobook. You, the gear that I use for my photography and the video, like right now, <laughs> when I'm on location. What? What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? Guys, the gear that I'm that I, now I'm messing up because of you. Oh, because of me? <laughs> yeah. Not because of you, because of me. Yeah, so. How many times my lips? Crust. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of crust. <laughs> Look at some chapstick. This is going to be your Vanna White. Oh, here. You're covering the lens. Like, and you don't balance. You don't. This is not a circus. Your face. Okay, and Cover make, your face. Okay, make sure you look at the ca the camera lens. I was looking at the screen the whole time, and you make sure you look at the camera lens so they know that you know you're looking at them, not yourself. I know you like to look at yourself, but you're you looking in there. I want you looking in there. I know. I, I can't even see myself. I don't have my glasses or my contacts on. Good. Then you have nothing to worry about. Look, my second favorite lens. Let me know when you're done. What? Your faces. Well, how can you see my face if, unless you're looking at the freaking viewfinder? <laughs> 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 The sharpness is crazy, and um, yeah, I mean, come on, I can't focus here. You're over here, like, lounging it up. Okay, I'm sitting here doing nothing, <laughs> nothing at all. All right, let's start. Oh, where's my A7R? Where's my A7R? Where is it? Right here. No, that's not my, that's not my camera. Oh, my main camera, where is right it? Right here. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs>